Bonfire and Bourbon is a small Swiss company focused on grooming products for men and women. Their products give a luxurious experience, accompanied by the woody scents such as firewood, cedar, and bergamot honey. And now Bonfire and Bourbon is offering an exclusive discount to my listeners, 20% off if you go to their website, bonfireandbourbon.com, and use code HOLLYBB20. They ship anywhere in the world, so make sure you treat yourself to their amazing products. That's code HOLLYBB20 at bonfireandbourbon.com. If a fan sees you out in public, um, can he approach you? And, and if so, like, what's, what's a good way to do it? Well, I mean, it depends. If I'm with my daughter, obviously, please don't do that. That's not very nice. <laughs> um, but, like, the best way to approach me, give me a handful of cash, goddammit, <laughs> and drop to your knees and kiss my toe. Wow. And say, hello, princess. I'm here to serve you. <laughs> or if you're not not one of those kind, then you can just be like, hey, hi, what's up? And or like I'll, your work. Yeah. And I'll awkwardly be like, hi, I am awkward lady. <laughs> like, <laughs> I will try to <laughs> try to get in this conversation, but it might not make too much sense. Do you think you would ever date a fan? Man, you know what? I wanted to say no before. Mm -hmm. And I think I might I might still say no, but like the one time that I gave like a fan a chance, he fucking fucked it up. Mm. Like you are not about to sit here and like be all awesome for a month and then all of a sudden like become inconsistent and expect mm -hmm. me to stick around for that. Like mm -hmm. Nah, like what, I'm good on that. What was the change? It was just like, it went from like, I'm like, I felt like I was a priority to where I wasn't a priority. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, well, that's cause I'm single. And I was like, well, that's cool. I'm single too. And I'm not going to waste no more goddamn time on you. Mm -hmm. Cause obviously you're showing me like. I don't know what your agenda was, but it obviously wasn't a relationship eventually. Yeah. Not like right now, but it, like eventually. Yeah. I think that's something that should be worked towards. If yeah. You're talking with someone. Yeah. Where did you meet him? Well, I first, I didn't meet him. Um, he saw me once um, at... Easy E's um, new gravestone reveal back in 2019. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess he recognized me or whatever. And he said he didn't even come up to me. Um, but then like on Instagram, I was on there and I saw like the picture and I'm like, oh, this cute black guy with all this hair. And I was like. All right, I'll follow you back just because you're cute. Mm -hmm. And like I saw, we had a couple of mutual friends. So I followed him back and like we were chatting it up and everything. And then like I thought that was cool, but then like it kind of was like not paying too much attention to me. And I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I've got men begging and paying for my attention. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not going to sit here and beg you to pay attention to me, especially yeah. when you came for me. Like, yeah. I didn't know who the fuck you were. Yeah. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. Like, fuck that. Right? You're a fucking princess. Yeah, I am a fucking princess. <laughs> like, goddamn it. And fucking treat me like one or get the fuck out. That, that's how I feel now. Yeah. And I think you should feel that way. And I think every woman should feel that way. I agree. Yeah. Because, like, when it comes down to it, women are the fucking prize. Mm -hmm. Like... Dudes want to act like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. I'm... No, you're a fucking dude. You want the fucking woman. The woman doesn't need you. You need the fucking woman. Because without that woman, you're going to be stuck with your homies. Are you going to sit there and fuck your homies all day? No. <laughs> you need a fucking woman. I mean, I guess it depends on your sexual orientation. But that, yeah, that's true. That when it comes it. to heterosexual relationships, right. yeah. dudes should already know women are the prize. Yes. 
like pursue them, court them, love them, prioritize them, pay attention to them, treat them right, and just keep doing that until you're dead, I guess. <laughs> and you'll have a good relationship. Um, cause if you fuck it up, then no matter how long you've been together, she's eventually going to be like, Oh no, like I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. Like it took me fucking four years to fucking wake up out of that shit. Like, I feel like it's like sometimes when you fall in love, like, Maybe the chemicals or something. It's kind of like you're um, under a spell or something. Yeah. And it's like everyone's telling you what's going on. You're experiencing experiencing what's going on. But like your heart and your brain are like incongruent. And you just you're like, I'm just going to deal with it. He'll totally change. He said he's going to... He, no. No the fuck he will not. I was just having a conversation with my Pilates teacher about that <laughs> this morning. I know this is a little bit random, but I had a toxic relationship with a guy when I was 22 and he was 20... He was, he was 33. Ironically, he was uh, high up at Wicked at the time. He's no longer in the industry, so... And none of you guys would know him, so don't try to guess. No, it's not fucking Brad Armstrong. Um, <laughs> but it's Steve. No, it's not Steve. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, I mean, the way that I let him treat me, like, I look back at it, and I'm just like, what was I thinking? Right? Like, what was I thinking? It's just so insane. And I bought all of his bullshit, and he was totally cheating on me the entire time, exactly. lying to me. And I just, and, yeah, that whole thing, I was like, I can change him. You know, I'm like fucking 22. Like, I don't know shit. I can change him. He'll be different for me. And I just like, what, you know, and, but I'm glad I had that relationship because I feel like it really, it helped me understand what I don't want. Exactly. You know, like That's... now I know, like, I'll never let anyone treat me like that ever again. Absolutely. Like, I feel, feel you 100 million percent on yeah. that one. Like, it's it's sad that like sometimes we have to go through these things but you know when you're kind of a hard-headed woman mm -hmm. the universe is gonna throw you some crazy shit yeah because they're you're not gonna learn any yeah. other way yeah unless if it's like okay this is some crazy shit and you know what i find too i find that the universe continues to present you with the same problems until, until you, yes yes until like you get over whatever character defect it is that like you need to work on you will keep encountering the same issues like the same toxic people or like yes. the same situations so I absolutely fucking lutely yeah do you believe in the law of attraction yes very yeah. much so yeah i agree bonfire and bourbon is a small swiss company focused on grooming products for men and women their products give a luxurious experience accompanied by the woody scents such as firewood, cedar, and bergamot honey. And now Bonfire and Bourbon is offering an exclusive discount to my listeners. 20% off if you go to their website, bonfireandbourbon.com, and use code HOLLYBB20. They ship anywhere in the world, so make sure you treat yourself to their amazing products. That's code HOLLYBB20 at bonfireandbourbon.com. 